Hello, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I, I had a very filling Thanksgiving. It was delicious. Um, and so welcome to my full moon ceremony. Some of you may have gone to the gym today just to make sure that you, you know, started your um, weight loss regimen. Uh, I give you a lot of credit. I did not go to the gym today. Um, <laughs> so um, uh, give yourself a gold star if you did that, because you really deserve it. Now, before I begin with um, my um, wonderful full moon ceremony, I just love doing these. I've got all kinds of announcements that I want to share with you because so many of you have asked me the questions I'm now going to answer. Okay. Okay. Well, excuse me. Oh, this is much better. Okay. First, uh, first of all, I'm going to be doing um, a video uh, within the next week or so called Let's Talk Money. And I, what I'm going to do is go through all the sun signs. And this means, of course, the ascending sign, uh, the rising sign, and tell you the best means, the best ways for your sign to create money. Just, and, and I'm not attaching anything to it. It's just plain old money. And I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope it helps you uh, solve all of those questions you have about uh, the, the toys you bought for your kids and all the stuff that you bought. When you play according to uh, the laws of astrology, you've got a great chance of winning. So, um, that's in the works. It's coming soon. And I mean soon. Um, before the first bill comes in, okay? Now, so many of you have asked me, when are you going to go back to Phoenix and the Dragon and do in-person full moon ceremonies? Well, I have the answer now. Join me in December because I'm going to return to uh, the Phoenix and Dragon uh, once a month uh, on their patio. And if you were there at any point in time, you know that it's a small patio and we had 40, 50, 60, sometimes 70 when we were, when it was an eclipse, people present. Um, so I'm happy to say that in December, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to return to Phoenix and Dragon for their full moon ceremonies. Let's see, Tuesday, December 26th at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. Now, um, I'm still going to keep doing these virtual full moon ceremonies because so many of you live uh, in different parts of the world and you, you clearly cannot fly in for a full moon ceremony. It isn't worth it. The price is too much. So I will be doing a virtual ceremony just like I do every month. Please don't worry about it. I will not leave you out. And then, of course, I'm going to be doing the in-person full moon ceremonies at the Phoenix and Dragon starting Tuesday, December 26th at 6.30 p.m rather than seven, okay? We've needed more time because the crowds have grown and grown and grown, okay? Now, some of you have said, when are you gonna teach another astrology class? And I do uh, one series of classes uh, that last approximately 10 months. My whole purpose in teaching astrology is to share everything I know about astrology and to 
create the best astrologers, the most spiritual, the most loving astrologers I possibly can and then turn them loose with their love, with their knowledge. And this will hopefully lift the planet. I'm looking for a certain type of person and the group that I just finished uh, teaching, some of them I have not let go. We're, we're still meeting. Um, they all fell in that category and I, I just adored them. Um, so I'm gonna create classes with beautiful people I adore and I'm gonna share everything I know with you. Um, so let me see here, I've got, I've got it all written down for a change. Don't you love it? Uh, and God made pens. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to start a new virtual beginning and intermediate. They, they work right into each other. It's a few classes of beginning and then intermediate for several months. Uh, astrology classes. And they will begin uh, these are the ones that I will be teaching online on Zoom. They will start Thursday, January 18th at 7 p.m. Okay. And for, in addition, for those of you in Atlanta, the Atlanta area, I will be starting a beginning intermediate series at the Phoenix and Dragon. Um, this will start on Saturday, whoops, Saturday, January 20th at 11 a.m. Now, for information, you can go to my website. Excuse me, you know I live with a cat. And that means if you live with a cat, you know you are covered with fur. Um, they, they share. Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, just go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com, or email me at StarMax, that's S-T-A-R-M-A-X, StarMax at BellSouth.net. Did that date me or what? Um, and you'll sign up through me, okay? But we will talk, and some of you don't know if you need the beginning class, or if you can start with the intermediate class. Um, I don't want you to have to pay for a beginning class that you don't need. So I like to talk to you and um, I'll be able to tell where you're at. Um, and I, I, I look forward to meeting all of you who sign up because we have a wonderful time. A lot of laughing, I'm a Gemini, you know. Okay. Uh, okay. I think that, yes. Now, I have got a terrific stocking stuffer for you. This is a book I've resurrected. I wrote it years ago. I changed it around a little bit. It's called What Your Astrologer Never Mentioned. You can see it's a small book. I haven't gotten my copies yet because um, Amazon takes a while to give the author their copies, which the author has purchased. So it's got a proof that mark over here, but you can get as many as you need. They're not expensive. They are uh, a smart, and uh, when I say smart, I mean, you know, sarcastic. Okay, uh, funny book that can introduce your friends and relatives and particularly those skeptics in your family uh, that astrology is accurate because what I've done is gone to the bottom line. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, as I said, they make great stocking stuffers. Um, but please do not expect in-depth chart analysis 
in this little booklet. That's not what it's designed for. It's designed to entertain. And judging by the laughter when I read them at parties and things, you know, or organizational meetings, um, people will enjoy it. And as I mentioned, I'm going to be doing uh, Let's Talk Money. If you have a copy of my book, uh, Take Back Your Money, that would be good to read prior to our session. All right. Uh, now, if you have visited your family, and you know, when we visit our family, we're back in the roles that we played when we were children. I don't know about yours, but mine were yucky. Um, and you go back to your relatives and you're placed and you place yourself in those roles. Uh, my book, Secrets from the Wound. Don't go away. Here we go. Secrets from the Womb, the pact that runs your life. Uh, I know that I wish somebody had written this uh, when I was younger and going home to family for family visits because um, after every visit, I needed help. Um, so you know what I'm saying. All right. Okay, those are the announcements, everybody. Now. Let's talk about the beautiful full moon that we're going to be having in, in a few hours. I know I'm cutting it close, but it's been busy around here. The full moon is Monday, November 27th. It is in four Gemini 51. Let's call it five degrees of Gemini. Now, all of you Geminis out there, and I'm including myself, um, this is our time. This is it, kids. Take advantage of it, particularly if you are an early Gemini, because five degrees of Gemini, you're going to give allow a five degree orb. So from zero Gemini to 10 to 10 Gemini, if you've got any planets there, and preferably the sun, but it doesn't matter if you don't, um, you may have one of the heavy planets there. Um, this is, it's time for you to step forward and be number one. It is our turn. And every sign has its turn. Um, my karmic group has Uranus in um, the orb of the full moon. Look out. I'm telling you, if you see some old lady driving a car, you know, that, like crazy, th that would be me, okay? Um, and if it's you, it is time to bust loose. Uranus is the giver of life, uh, but it is the rebel excuse me, not the giver of life, the great awakener. It is the rebel. And so you may find yourself acting out a little bit. I'm going to go through each of the signs and tell you what is triggered because I want to start with Gemini. So um, if you have Gemini rising, this applies to you as well. Okay, it's the sun sign and the ascending sign. Okay, uh, Gemini, do what you want, when you want, how you want, because you want. It is your time. It is your turn. Um, just bust loose. You don't have to tell anybody. Just do what you want, when you want, how you want, because you want. Period. Go for it. Cancerians, pull back, retreat, get away from people. Uh See that you have time alone. Maybe you need to sleep more than you have been. Did the entire family come over for Thanksgiving? You're probably still cleaning up. Um, 
and you may be exhausted. So pull back, retreat. This is a wonderful time to meditate. Wonderful. And to contact people on the other side uh, that you want to talk with. Uh, uh, you might be thinking, well, you're very glib when you talk about that. Yeah, because it's true. You can do that. Did you know? Okay. Great, grand, glorious Leo. This full moon activates your friendship circle. Uh, be a friend to all. Make sure that you, when you're with your friends, if any of them belong to philanthropic organizations, oh, join them. Join them because the humanitarian in you is awakened. Virgo, it's time for you to move upward. I know Mercury's retrograde. I know. Uh, move upward. No, with Mercury retrograde, you're not going to start a new project. But what you are going to do is move up within your current situation. Libra, you're seeing a much bigger picture now. Are you thinking of travel? It's long distance, distance travel. Are you thinking of higher education? Maybe signing up in January uh, for uh, an advanced degree? That would be a good idea. Are you writing the world's greatest novel? That's particularly good. In other words, you're seeing a big picture that you haven't seen before. You see options you didn't know that you had before. Go for it. Sagittarius. Oh, excuse me. I got these backwards. Um, set, no. Scorpio. Um, you must know, I can't read my own handwriting. Have you, Some of you know that. You can't read my handwriting, and neither can I. It's That's just how it is. Scorpio. Uh, this full moon is in your natural house, the eighth house. This is the time, uh, first of all, for secrets, to uncover secrets, to see what is really going on. This is a time to help other people create the money they want. So joint financial arrangements look good. Um, and it's a time of privacy. You become the phoenix rising up on its own ashes and starting anew. That's beautiful. Sagittarius. Uh, hot. Excuse me. Sagittarius. Again, I can't read my own handwriting. This is your time to get out there and be with other people. Look at your close one-on-one -on -one relationships. This is where you want to put your attention. Now, the other people in your life are going to want more attention from you. So my suggestion is that you give it. Don't hold back. Um, there is an opportunity, if you are free, to meet somebody. So go where you can meet somebody, okay? Capricorn. Oh, good. I can read my handwriting now. Capricorn. Um, it's time for you to cross every T and dot every I. You know, Capricorn, you like to move upward. Right now, this full moon suggests that you tie up the loose ends of unfinished business. Cross those T's, dot those I's. Focus on your health as well. This is a great time to get to the gym. You know, when I see uh, anything in the sixth house and this full moon is in the sixth house and on the full moon, everything comes to a head. Um, I keep thinking, I have a gym membership. Perhaps I should step in there every once in a while. And that's exactly what I do every once in a while. Um, so... If, if I were a Capricorn right now, I would take advantage of this full moon because it energizes you and helps your health. Aquarius, it is time to party. 
It is time for fun. It is time for you to spend more time with your children, perhaps. Kids and fun show up the same way. Uh, is your fun hockey? Either playing it or watching it? Go for it. But it is enjoyment time. And I highly recommend it. Pisces, home and family, very important now to you. Um, you want to stay home? Great. Uh, you're thinking of moving, uh, spending time with family. You're looking for the emotional security that family, um, hearth, and home provide. Okay. Aries, it's time for you to express yourself. Um, short trips are really good for you. Now, you are ruled by Mars, and so you get in and get out. You do everything fast. Nothing wrong with that. Um, your mind is sharp. You are thinking three steps ahead of everybody else. My suggestion would be that you make lists of the things that are important to you and go for them. Share your ideas. When you're sharing them, um, take stock of your audience. Read your audience. You may have to dumb down your ideas a little bit, okay? And last but not least, our dear friend, Taurus. Taurus is the sign of money. And that is where the full moon falls um, tomorrow. So open your heart to receive whatever gifts, whatever monies come in. This is a terrific time to focus on your income. So. I hope this is helpful to you. A lot of you have said, are we doing sun signs or rising signs? And the answer is yes. <clears throat> I'm doing both. And I encourage you to also. <clears throat> okay, now. Um, I hope you brought your list with you of what you would like to accomplish uh, during this month. If you are coming to any of my full moon ceremonies, I should say even uh, to, to uh, either of them, we're going to be talking about letting go what has held you down and back and spreading your wings and flying. We don't know how many opportunities we have to go for the 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 brass ring, so to speak. I just dated myself. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Okay. So what we're going to do now <clears throat> is burn our lists. These are the lists that you have drawn up for yourself. And the reason we burn them is so that we can turn them over to God. When you clutch at something, uh, you're holding it back. You want to be free. Now, what you want to do is focus on what, what your heart desires, what you really, really want. Um, and don't tell anybody. Just want it. Write it right here. And this is the first time I think in, in a long time I can read my own handwriting. I'm going to burn it. You think God has a sense of humor? Mm -mm -mm. So we're going to take all uh, take our lists. If you don't have your list, put your uh, video on pause and make a list of what you would like to create. Uh, remember. In God's creation, there is no time. You might say, well, it'll take me 20 years to get to where I want. Maybe yes, maybe no. It depends on how deep your 
passion is for it. How much you are able to feel yourself living it. That's all you got to do is feel yourself being what you want to be. Very often, the change is instantaneous. So we tear up our lists and we promise not to sneak a peek at them after we've torn them up. And we burn them. Now, I always use something glass. When I'm at the Phoenix and Dragon uh, doing the full moon ceremony there and we're burning our lists, I use a clay pot, um, you know, which you would use for a plant because everybody goes around the circle and some people bring lists for their friends. That's perfectly okay, of course. So we're going to burn these lists. I've got these great matches. I'm usually not great with fire. Oh my word, I love it. There we go. And here we go. And what happens is that one piece of paper sets everything aflame. I'm going to set this down on my hardwood floors. Um, keep it away from things that you don't want to burn. You know what I mean? And we'll just set it down there. Okay. Now, now that we have let that go, we're going to do uh, my favorite thing. Right hand, left hand. And those of you who have been on uh, this um, virtual full moon ceremony with me before or at the Phoenix and Dragon, you know how powerful it is. It is wonderful. Keep your left brain out of it. Um, so here's what we are going to do. I'm going to suggest to you and I'm going to tell you exactly what we do because some of you are new to uh, these virtual um, full moon ceremonies. We put our heart's desire, what we want more than anything in the whole wide world in our right hand. Please don't give yourself 20 items. You'll drive yourself nuts. And then in our left hand, we put who or what is keeping us from having what's in our right hand. And you might say, well, what I really want is money. And this is a true story. I've shared it before, um, but I'm going to share it uh, again because it's so great. Um, I was sitting here in my living room um, and at the time, I forget how long ago this was, but it was a while back. And I, I said, I want money. And as I said it, God pulled my hand back. And I was told, no, that's not what you want. And so my next question was, okay, then show me what I'm not able to see. Right? And what was placed in my right hand was I wanted peace, inner peace, blessed peace, and peace everywhere. So when I then put out my left hand uh, to get rid of what's in my left hand that's keeping me from peace, what God showed me was money. And so I took, I took my hand, just like I, I'm going to help you do, and I tossed that into the multiverse. And uh, yeah, my money absolutely picked up after that. You know, you ask with love in your heart and, and belief and duck because you will get what you want. Okay, so... What we're going to do is go back to the minute that you were born. 
and you're going to say this out loud. You're going to say I and follow it with your full name at birth. So I, John, Joseph, Smith, the second. That was your name at birth. And then I'm going to give you the acceptances. And these acceptances are very, very powerful. Um, accept them. When you accept something, you just relax your body and let the acceptance of what you want pour down from the top of your head through the soles of your feet and back out to the universe, uh, going through every chakra and out. And then get ready. If you start to doubt, that's the problem. Doubt stops the flow to you. So tell your left brain to take a hike. Okay. All right. So, and I'm not going to say my name at birth because I don't want to confuse you. I don't want anything in your ear but your full name. Um, I, my full name, and I'll guide you through, take back my, and we do, do this all the time. So, okay. First, extend your right hand and place in it what you want what you want so much that you, you may find tears forming and running down your cheeks. You want it so much. And just put your hand over your heart. Okay? And then extend your left hand and in it, Ask God to show you who or what is keeping you from having what you, your heart's desire. You may experience a feeling. It may not come as a noun. Uh, it, it may come, as I said, as a feeling and an emotion. And when it could be uh, a parent, it could be an employer who is in the way. Maybe you've made somebody your king and they have let you down. Doesn't matter. And when you see it, when you feel it, toss it out to the universe. <clears throat> so here we go. I, full name at birth. I release what's in my left hand and I accept what's in my right hand. And I put my hand on my heart. And here are the acceptances. I take back my heart. The heart is the place of love. I take back my soul you've given your soul away take it back I take back my mind this, in this allows you to think I take back my body this allows you to heal I take back my honor wow this is very powerful you take back your honor, you will not permit anyone to step all over you. I take back my identity. Your identity is God in an earthbound body. I take back my self-respect. Nobody's going to mess you, with you when you take back your self-respect. I take back my God-given gifts and talents. And finally, I take back 
my life. And let that pour down from the top of your head through every cell in your body and out the soles of your feet. And that beautiful state, that beautiful place that you're living in right now. Make up your mind that that's where you live. In a state of bliss. And the final thing that we do every month, which I look forward to so much, are the star cards. I don't care where you are in the world, what time of day it is, you are part of a team right now. So anytime you watch this video, um, you 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 plug into the team. So when I I I pull cards for every one of us because they apply to every one of us, um, and this is absolutely marvelous. Um, it's I don't do it in person, but I do it in the virtual the virtual full moon ceremony. Okay. We'll have to work that out in, the, in person. Okay. When I read it out, you're going to accept it. You're going to change. It, it is, I've used the pronoun you. You're going to change it to I. All right. You ready? Here we go. I'll do the first couple with you. You are honorable. You'll be saying now, I am honorable. Get a little more room here. All right. You have mega energy. <laughs> I have mega energy. I don't know about you, but I could use some. You are powerful. I am powerful. You are magical. I am magical. I know that. Do you know it, that you're magical? Accept it. Just let it pour down through you. You are wise. Oh, wisdom. It's not, that's not intellectual. That's not ideas. This is wisdom. You are brilliant. I am brilliant. Let that pour down through you. Take a quantum leap forward. I take a quantum leap forward. This is your opportunity. Go for it. Be the star. I am the star, okay? You create your life. I create my life. Claim your prosperity. I claim my prosperity. Keep doing that. <laughs> People listen when you speak. People listen when I speak. You are awesome. I am awesome. And finally, one, one final one. Claim your success. I claim my success. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, I look forward to being with you next month uh, because as I said, I'm going to keep up the virtual uh, full moon ceremonies because you live all over the world and I don't want to leave you out. Um, so till next month,
May the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.